Hello and welcome to baguru.com. In this video, I will show you how to get the cryptocurrencies live data or historical data to Excel. Uh, here is the complete step by step uh, guide in this article. I will share the link in the video description and as well as the uh, web links that has been used in this web videos. So let's start. Create a new Excel workbook. Go to data, click on new data from other sources from web. Uh, now copy this link for this is for Ripple coin. Right click, copy, and paste it to url click ok so the navigator is open and it will connect uh, to the uh, web and will uh, show us the tables we have two table document that is empty there is uh, nothing and the other is uh, table zero and table zero we have uh, date open high low close volume and market cap uh, so now if you want to have for multiple coins click on edit the query editor will open and uh, on the left side we have the queries right side query setting and the applied steps and this is the data and this is the formula bar if you click on the applied steps on the source uh, you will see which coin is this one this is ripple coin and you can change the name of this query to ripple coin from here ripple uh, so if you want to have this for other coins just right click duplicate this one uh, so I want it for I want this one for Bitcoin. I click on source and in the place of uh, Ripple, we have to type Bitcoin in lower case. And we can change the name of query here as well. This is for Bitcoin, and this is for any other coin. Uh, so. If you have the name of any coin more than one word, you can put hyphen or minus sign between the words. Like I want to type Bitcoin cash. Bitcoin minus sign and cash. Uh, I will change it here as well. Bitcoin cash. And this is for Bitcoin cash. Uh, now if you want to uh, load this data to Excel worksheet uh, You can click uh, Here and close and load that will load in Excel worksheet now we have three Excel worksheets and this is for Ripple This is for Bitcoin and this is for Bitcoin cash uh, So you have noticed that uh, uh, For these queries there are some errors uh, why this is we will check just hover your mouse and click on uh, if you click on error it will show you the actual errors so these were the errors if you click uh, on the error it will show you the details of error so this is the detail uh, uh, because this column were for numbers or decimal number but here we have uh, these things this is not number uh, so how can we fix just close this one and discard this time hover your mouse and click on edit uh, So there are two methods one method is to uh, Change the type to text because this is not uh, This signs were not numbers The second method is to remove those signs uh, So we will start for first method this all Type data types has been changed automatically. The it is in the last step. So we have to do it manually. 
just remove this last step and now this all our uh, text uh, so this is date change it to date the open high low close the all our decimal numbers click and change it to decimal uh, this is whole number I just change it to whole number and this time don't change this to number whole number or decimal number so because we have this sign and this is text now if you close and load it will load all the uh, data without any error uh, so we have 169 rows of data and at the end if we check we have those signs as well so if you want to remove and load again click on edit this time right click uh, first uh, copy this uh, sign Control c copy and click on the column heading right click replace values paste it here this sign and replace it with nothing click ok now we have replaced it with nothing there is blank if we close and load that will load without any error uh, you can do with the other queries as well there might be the same sign or there might be any question mark sign or any other sign that might not be uh, that might not be number so i forgot to change this to number as well you can change it to a number because we have removed the uh, hyphen sign uh, now this is text you can change it to number whole number and again close and load now we have this all data in separate sheets for different coins uh, so now if you want to have the live data of all the coins again go to data new query from other sources from web in url you have to paste the second link i will copy and will paste it in url Uh, we have two table here uh, document is empty there is nothing table 0 is having all data for all coins so here we have number name symbol market cap price supply uh, volume and other information so we will click edit if uh, there is needed any edits click edit uh, so the first edit uh, we want to do is uh, we will check if there was any other sign then number so we don't have all the data here we will uh, do it later uh, so first the name is not visible it is the same symbol uh, what we have to do right click go to uh, split column by delimiter uh, there is the symbol and there is space and the name is not visible we will make the name visible and split it into two column uh, so we will split this by uh, space and add the left most delimiter so if you click it will be divided into two columns now we have two name column the one is name one name two uh, for name two this is the name of the coins and again there is uh, a lots of blank space uh, so i will copy and replace it with nothing uh, right click copy and click on the column header right click replace value again paste and replace it with nothing we have the name of uh, these coins as well so no need this because we have the symbol already right click uh, remove and we will change the name of this to just name. and now we are having this this is okay 
close and load Uh, so now we have 1384 coins and there are just two errors remove the error as i mentioned for this uh, query bitcoin cache and whenever you want to refresh the data you want to update it just go to data and click refresh and click refresh all that will refresh all the queries and all the data 